My mom and dad used to go and see this local singer in Dallas. Wherever he played, he had a group called the Big Beats. His name was Trini Lopez. My mom had said to Trini, if you ever need a drummer, give us a call, because our son's a drummer. And I, I wasn't really a drummer, I was trying. And so, sure enough, one night, the phone rang, and it was Trini Lopez. He said, my drummer's sick, gonna be out for a couple of weeks. Can you sit in on, I have two weekends for you, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll come back to Dallas on Sunday so I could go back to school. So, I got this little gig with Trini that was going to be two weekends. And I would ended up with Trini for eight years. <laughs> Let me pause you right there. Okay. This would be a good time to show a little clip. So ladies and gentlemen, here is the newest recording star, Trini Lopez. platinum so fast that we're going to work at PJ's one night and Trini's manager, Bullet Sturgum, who by the way had two brothers, Buckshot and BB. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, that's a true story. So we hired a, a little group called the Rolling Stones to open the show for us. Nobody had ever heard of them, they were brand new. We heard them play, I thought, well, they're okay, they're, they can play a little blues, you know. Nothing really to write home about, but they're okay. I don't know what kind of career they're going to have. And uh, you, you learn to pick them real early, huh? Real quick. <laughs> we headlined the Olympia Theater in Paris for eight weeks, and we hired this little group called the Beatles to open for us there. That picture was taken because Ringo asked if I would come and take a picture with them. So it was taken for them, not for me. And then I got up in the balcony when they were on stage, and this is... But Frank Sinatra was a big part of that too. Yeah. Because you guys were playing the Cal Neva Lodge all the time. Four years in a row, we spent all summer at the Cal Neva Lodge, and I had to sit on the side of the stage and watch the Rat Pack every single night. And he signed it to my gal Fran with loves and kisses, Frank Sinatra. So, my mom, oh, she was higher than Roger Miller. I mean, <laughs> could have gone duck hunting with a rake, man. Let's play, let's play another club. We got asked by the Hollywood USO if we would consider doing a tour of Vietnam in 66. And they wanted us for an in-depth tour, not for a week, but we were there for four months. And we took, they said, would you like to take Ann Margaret with you? And we said, oh, okay, if we have to. <laughs> so, Another chick singer. So we, yeah, so we took Ann Margaret with us. 